This has got me thinking. I'm going crazy. This has got me thinking so much right now. The Eagles freed up a roster spot, and I'm ready to see what Howie Roseman's going to do. Call me crazy, put me in a mental hospital, do whatever you want with me. But when I am right about things, I am right. And when I'm wrong, I'm humble about it. But the Eagles have created a roster spot. Looks like cornerback Craig James is gone. He got released. It's a very crowded cornerback room with you. have Bradbury, Slay, Maddox. You got, you know, a Jimmy Moreland. I mean, you got you have a lot. You have a lot of Tay Gowan. I mean, you go down the list. Matt McCain, Karen Vincent Jr. I mean, Jack McPhews. There's a lot of corners down that list. Mario Goodrich, Josh Job. It just keeps going on and on and on. And I feel like, you know, they just said, you know what? Craig James ain't going to fit the mold here. He's not going to make the team anyway. So let's free up a roster spot. But is there a specific reason they're doing it? Because Howie Rosen likes to upgrade this roster. Okay. And the one player I can only think of that's a big need for this team is obviously the safety position. I understand we signed Tart. I understand we have Marcus Epps and Anthony Harris right now. And behind Kevon Wallace and obviously, you know, Reed Blankenship, the undrafted free agent from Duke, that we don't know what he's going to do at all. But, you know, this wouldn't really surprise me. Jesse Bates hasn't signed his franchise tag. It looks like he's going to hold out. They offered, I think, $4 million more than his franchise tag was worth, and he still didn't take this contract. A five-year deal, less than $20 million, which is kind of ridiculous. So as of right now, I think since free agency, the Eagles have been very interested in safety. They've wanted to sign a big-time safety. Marcus Williams was on the radar before he went to Baltimore on that five-year, $70 million deal that the Eagles were very close to that number but just couldn't get it done. And ever since then, we've been kind of wondering, is there someone available the Eagles can get by the Week 9 trade deadline or before the season starts? Okay, so I feel like if it doesn't happen this year, the Eagles are putting money in that, into that position. Anthony Harris is only here for this year. I think Anthony Harris was only brought here really just because he knows the system, he knows the players, and that's really it because the Eagles were not bringing Rodney McLeod back because I think he's on the downside of his career and just he's been hurt way too much. And obviously Marcus Epps had a solid season last year, which, you know, I've hated Marcus Epps for a long time, but last season he played really well. So respect for respect is due but it comes down to it jesse bates is what 25 i think he's 25 right now i think he's 26 25 whatever it is okay the eagles have tried getting chuck clark you know the eagles the eagles have, have tried to do a few a couple things that just didn't really pan out but this right here, a trade that Howie Roseman could do with the Bengals, depending on what it is. We've heard the speculation of Andre Dillard could be on the outs with a second round pick or a late round pick or whatever. Howie Roseman could get it done. I don't think the cap space really matters for the Eagles because Howie Roseman knows how to move money around. The Eagles cap space is going to be very healthy next year. Good foundation for the cap space next year. And obviously on top of some pretty good draft picks, depending on the situations of the quarterback and other things that are going on this year. So take this with a grain of salt. Don't go crazy with it. But, you know, Howie always has something up his sleeve. He could sign a no-name guy. You never know. He just could go sign a no-name dude. And we just, I don't know. We just don't care. And, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But to make room for Jesse Bates would make a lot of sense. Just because the Eagles have had a need. I understand, like I said, they signed Tart. They have, obviously, the depth now. You know, with Anthony Harris and Marcus Epps being there. You know what I mean? So I, I, I totally get it. You know, I you know you think your safety spot is safe for right now, but down the line you're going to need a long term safety, a guy that's going to be a leader. I mean, look, the Eagles didn't the Eagles you know passed up on Marcus Williams, the Eagles passed up in this draft to get Kyle Hamilton moving up two spots in front of the Ravens, giving away you know three four picks and you know getting their their star defensive tackle for the future. So. This wouldn't surprise me, but holy crap, would I be happy about it. Jesse Bates to the Philadelphia Eagles would just put a smile on my face, and Howie Roseman would just be do one more great thing this year. So very excited about that. So definitely look out for that. 
Now, secondly, I want to talk about A.J. Brown actually had a race with Elijah Moore, the wide receiver from the New York Jets, which was great because Elijah Moore is like 190 pounds. A.J. Brown's like 225. And they had a big race today. And A.J. Brown beat him. I think he beat him by like a little hair. Beat him by a hair. I mean, it just A.J. Brown is going to be just so explosive this year. It's just absolutely insane. Can't wait to see A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and just see how defenses actually defend this offense, plus this offensive line, plus these running backs, plus Jalen Hurts and his, you know, just his, his playmaking ability with his legs. Like, what? How are you going to defend this this year? A.J. Brown just <laughs> is becoming the embodiment of Philly. It is it's just be, it's putting his foot forward. And, you know, this was the veteran receiver that we really needed that takes a step forward that protects his players, that holds himself and everyone else accountable. That's what I'm excited for. A.J. Brown, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be really exciting. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Chicks, what up, Falls Peace out, guys. Peace.